Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. For this little video, we're going to do histology of bone tissue. This slide has ground bone on it, so this is hardened bone with the calcium still in it that you're seeing under the scope. And this is 40 times magnification. These individual tree ring-like structures that you see are called osteons. And for dense bone, that's the major structure, the major structural component is these osteons. Let's go to a higher magnification. So again, this is an osteon, this is an osteon, this is an osteon, and this is an osteon. This is also called the Hervasian system, by the way. At this magnification, we start to see some of the structures of the osteon. Central canal, in the center of the osteon is the central canal. The layers that give it that tree ring appearance are called lamellae. And you can see these little dark dots. Those are the spaces that the bone cells live in. The bone cells are called osteocytes. And the spaces are called lacuna, singular, and lacunae for plural. Let's go to the highest magnification I have. This is 450 times magnification. Again, central canal, central canal, and central canal. The layers are called lamellae. The compartments here are called lacuna or lacunae, and the cells inside of them would be, would be osteocytes. Excuse me. Um, we can also see these dark black lines now pretty well. And those dark black lines are communications between the osteocytes and the central canal. Those communications are called canal laculi. This is another image that I have on my website which is labeled for all of those specific structures. So you can see the lamellae, the rings, the central canals, the canal aculi, these little dark lines, and then the osteocytes inside of the lacuna or lacunae. This is another slide at 100 times magnification and here you can see these communications between central canals. So here's one central canal connecting to another central canal, for example. And those connections are called perforating canals. Perforating canals. Another slide, same basic thing that we're seeing. Perforating canal, you can kind of see that one. Here's another one, and here's another one. Perforating canals. This is from a slide that has two bones connected by fibrocartilage. And what you see, this is the end of the bone. This would be the top of this particular bone. And this is a growth plate. So this is an immature individual, probably a rat. And I think it's probably a, a, one of the spinal bones, a vertebrae. You have spongy bone over here. And then again, this purple line is the growth plate. Let's go to a higher magnification. Here's the growth plate at 100 times magnification and the spongy bone at 100 times magnification. Inside of spongy bone, the bone tissue is this lighter pink material. And the darker purple with all the dots is red bone marrow. On the growth plate, we see stacks of chondrocytes. The chondrocytes are dividing on this end and then pushing downward as, they've, as they divide. And they're producing hyaline cartilage. And as this hyaline cartilage approaches the area of the spongy bone, the chondrocytes differentiate into osteoblasts and build bone, basically convert that hyaline cartilage into hardened bone matrix. And then the osteoblasts, once they're surrounded by bone matrix, turn into osteocytes the mature bone cell. Here's a higher magnification of the hyaline cartilage within a growth plate. And again, the cells are, are dividing up here, giving rise to these stacks of cells within the growth plate. These cells, again, are called oste not osteoblasts, excuse me, they're called chondrocytes because they're living in cartilage. We can see some of the red bone marrow here, by the way, and the, the reddish appearance here is red 
blood cells developing. Next slide we have a picture at 100 times magnification of spongy bone. So this is the bone tissue within the spongy bone. These are spicules of bone um, or trabecular parts of the spongy bone. This is red bone marrow and again you can see some reddish spots in there indicating red cells forming. We can also see the little compartments, the lacuna or lacunae inside of the bone tissue. The next slide we have 450 times magnification of red bone marrow and again you can see the reddish area, red blood cells developing over here too. These purplish cells are white blood cells developing and the other type of cell you'd see in here would be megakaryocytes that give rise to platelets. This tissue lining would be the endosteum by the way. Next picture, a good image of the bone tissue within spongy bone. We've got lacuna with an osteocyte living inside of it, a lacuna with an osteocyte living inside of it. Notice that we don't have osteons in the spongy bone. It's not made that way apparently. And by the way, compared to the ground bone that we saw earlier, this bone has had the calcium removed so that they could do tissue slicing on it and that's why it appears very different. And it stains well because of the um, mostly the collagen fibers that we see in bone tissue. Here's a, label, a labeled picture again from my website. Red bone marrow, the actual bone tissue, osteocytes living in lacuna, and red bone marrow again down here. Another high magnification image of the bone tissue. Osteocyte living in lacuna, osteocyte living in lacuna. If we have multiple lacuna, we call them lacunae. And we're back to the beginning. So thank you again for watching. And as always, if there's any questions or anything about what I've done here, please let me know. And have a great day.